So yeah, I want to play a little bit extra Lord of the Rings today because I uh, I got my PS5 in. For anybody who's been watching the stream for a while, Nate, I know you have. I have been waiting on my PS5 for a little while. It finally came in a couple days ago while I was sick. I hardly got to play it, sadly, but regardless, it's here. And that's very exciting. And uh, everybody should know that I've been wanting to play Ratchet and Clank on it. That's like the number one thing that I want to play on it. <laughs> um, but I want to play it on stream. I want to share it with everybody. So I really want to finish up Lord of the Rings so we can do that. And on that same note, the 12 hour stream that uh, you guys donated points for, mostly Nate, but a uh, little bit of everybody helped out there. That uh, goal has been met, obviously, thanks to you all. And I have found a day, excuse me, I have found a day that I will be able to do it. I don't remember what that day is now, <laughs> off the top of my head, but I did find a day. Um, so the, the final schedule for that, I will be, of course, posting what day and everything that'll be on as soon as I can uh, remember what day that is. I'll probably have to uh, look at schedules here again to figure that out. But that will be getting posted very soon. And we will be playing four to six hours of Lord of the Rings, two to three hours of uh, probably closer to four hours of Lord of the Rings, if it's not already done by then, uh, two to three hours of Fable 2, um, like two to three hours of Ratchet and Clank, because I've really been wanting to play that one on stream. And then the rest of the time we'll be playing Gauntlet Games. Uh, as I mentioned before, a lot of them may just be sports titles, so I can get them out of the way, but but we'll see. I'm, I'm thinking probably sports titles, though, to be honest. Just dot, like, one or two of those in, in between each of the other main event sort of items. Ratchet and Clank, Fable, and uh, Lord of the Rings. So yeah, very excited for that. But today, of course, we are playing... What is this? Ratchet and Clank something? Uh, <laughs> uh, tag Team Racing. Ratchet and Clank? No. Crash Bandicoot ta Tag Team Racing. Man, I am, uh, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Everything is uh, going great, obviously. I see there's some sort of PSP connection that you can do here. I don't have my PSP booted up. Please plug the USB cable into the PSP. What? I had to look into that. I, I have no idea what that does, but that's awesome, man. I didn't know there were PS2 and PSP games that could interact with each other. That's crazy. Do you have... I wonder if you have to have Crash Tag Team Racing for the PSP, or... It, I don't know. I have no idea. That's really cool, though. Invert camera is all turned on. Everything's kind of turned on the way I like it from the looks of it. So we're just going to enter the park. Whatever the hell that means. I've never played this game before. I am not the world's biggest Crash fan. I think he's a cool character, and I like the games in theory. But actually playing the games... Uh, so, meh, meh. If anybody's seen the Just One More Level podcast that I've done on a couple of the Crash games, just not the world's biggest fan, at least of the newer remakes. I've heard a lot of people say that the originals are better, but... Chick Gizzard Lips here, welcoming you to the farewell race at Von Clutch's Motor World. That's right, Chick Baby. On what might be the Didn't final day of this. operation, Von Clutch will surely have to turn out the lights on his lifelong dream. Von Clutch, the deranged genius cyborg, has fabricated the ultimate auto racing theme park. Indeed, the park's tracks have wreaked terror on its participants. Too gruesome for this reporter to describe over the air. Well, I ain't got a problem with it. Man, you ever put a big ham in a wood chipper? I know I have. <clears throat> what? Oh, sorry. But now <laughs> old Von Clutch's power gems have been stolen. Giving Von Clutch just a few hours to get his power okay. gems back. Oh, it's slam dunk. Thank you, Pump. Ebenezer Why does he keep Von changing Clutch his hat? Is now risking his park ownership in a high stakes, no holds barred race. Anybody else race notice that? Contestants must survive a gauntlet. I'm not crazy, right? Parks five lands and recover every one of the power gems that have been stolen. Like, he has just randomly changed his hat. That wasn't just me. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell that's about. Okay, so some dude made a theme park based around racing. And uh, now we have to get some power gems or something. Or that dude's going to be very upset. Only a matter of time before we do away with these... I guess. Some rodents forever. <laughs> and of course, that dude wants to have us murdered because... 
I've reasons. Only a short time left before I am Kaputsky. We must find more racers. Is there no dumb cast among you to accept the challenge of the greatest race of all time? Uh. Oh yeah, no, he's definitely changed his hat because he's got another one on now. Well, sports fans, it appears we found our dumb cast. And we just kind of accidentally got into the race. All right. Move the left analog stick or press the cool, cool. So, to move, we move. Gotcha. I won't <laughs> All right, so there's actually platforming, too. I didn't expect that. Platforming elements in my racing game? What the hell? Okay, so... Hold on. How does the up and down feel? The up and down camera is backwards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, in this game, I guess I don't want them inverted. Yeah, yeah, that that's that's better, I, I think. Uh, okay, we press X to jump. Oh, did we just die? Really? <laughs> There's death enabled in the very first like uh, tutorial kind of section here. That's kind of crazy. Okay, secrets maybe. Oh, that's death too. There's not even like a splash or anything in that though. You just kind of fall through the water and to the void. That's weird, man. I mean, this is a racing game, obviously, not a uh, platforming game, so that's okay, I guess. We'll uh, we'll accept it. It's fine. Distances require you to do your first double jump. Okay. GG. Press square to spin. Yep. Collect coins to buy stuff. Gotcha. Coin, Waffle baby. coins? Is that what they said? And I do not like the way the camera feels. Yo, yo, X and circle to do a body slam. Okay, we can do that. Wumple whip. Coins collected are doubled for a short period of time. What? That's cool. Alright, so I guess we need to go through this quick. Or just don't go through it quickly at all. Can we do anything with that? No. Secrets? Secrets? Yes. All the secrets. I do love me get some uh, secrets, though. That's very nice. Very, very nice. We're almost out of time, though. Can we hit the button again? Will that restart the Wumple Whip? No. Okay, it didn't. Oh, well. We tried. I'm pretty sure we ended up getting more coins doing it that way than we would have by... Riding this slow ass platform and doing it the way they wanted us to, anyways. Are you ready? Crash is Grab and no very slowly well, shimmy across. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Press X repeatedly to climb a ladder. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, look at that. We did it. <laughs> this is a very... Watch out for unstable platforms. This is a very bad introduction for a racing game, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> jump onto the jump pad. I, uh, I hate whenever there's needless tutorials. This game is... Like, obviously, some stuff is helpful for anybody that's never played a Crash game before, or whatever the case may be, but everything, like... Have you any idea with whom you are dealing? The world-renowned evildoer Dr. Neo Periwinkle Cortex. I have all your games... Hey, Mr. Noodle. For a moment there, I think all is lost for one touch, but when I see my favorite video heroes, my innards tingle with joy. Well, tingle all you want. I have an appointment with world domination. <laughs> I need more races to recover my power gems. Whoever is first to bring all the power gems wins uh -huh. the ownership of my park. And look, even my beloved black power gem is gone. Perhaps this is the answer to our dilemma. This deranged theme park is fertile ground for us to plant a new seed of evil. Yes. So but whoever gets all the power best. gems gets all the, the theme park? We can eat and rid ourselves of the bandicoots all at the same time. Not so fast. I'm mm -hmm. Pasadena Opossum. I'm racing for Ovon Clutch, and I'm going to whoop you, that's for sure. 
So if I, I mean, win, you'll hand like, over the deed to this amusement. I kind enterprise? of like that there's no a story asked. to the game, right? Perhaps like it's nice. Too. But I don't know. Like, this is kind of kind of dumb, you know. I mean, I guess it's better than like Mario Kart or something that doesn't have one at all. But it's also just kind of. It feels a little shoehorned in, like a little unnecessary. You must go this way or that. Fall down, you go splat, and everyone thinks you're a schmo. I guess they were just going like for the very lighthearted sort of deal with it, you know, with the ridiculous characters and all of the 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 premise obviously being a bit whatever. So I mean, in in that sense, you know, I guess it uh, I guess it kind of makes sense. Are we actually entering the theme park now? But yeah, on the uh the the PS5 note though, man. So yeah, I got it. I like I said, I played it a bit. I haven't got to play it a whole lot, but uh, I've still I've got it. I've had some fun with it. I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy VII on it, um, because Final Fantasy VII, one of my favorite games, uh, uh, the original at least, and I played the remake on the PS4. But there's a free PS5 upgrade, so I've been playing that. And uh, I don't know if anybody out there has played the PS4 remake of Final Fantasy VII, but there's a very common problem where some textures don't appear the most obvious one being the door to cloud's apartment is just not textured like at all for some reason <laughs> and like it's such a well-known problem i don't know why they never fixed it but they didn't square just kind of ignored it so anyways the ps5 remake though it finally fixes it man that alone made it worth buying a ps5 you know <laughs> okay, I'm being a, a bit facetious, obviously. I don't think you should buy a whole PS5 just to fix up one glitch in Final Fantasy VII Remake. But still, no, it's a, it's actually been a lot of fun. And there's a uh, there's a game called Astro's Playroom that comes free with every PlayStation 5. It's pre-installed, at least uh, at the time being, on every PlayStation 5. And it is very good, surprisingly good for a free game. No, it all know nothing, Nina. You've got to get it back for me. This car will be the best thing ever. And stop. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Find fusion unit and bring it to Coco in the Midway. Who's Coco in the Midway? Didn't I already get a fusion unit? Oh. So if you talk to them, you get extra hints? Okay. That's cool, I guess. Uh, but anyway, so yeah. Astro's Playroom, man. It's actually a lot of fun, especially for, you know, considering it's just a free game that comes with the PlayStation 5. It's very nice. It's like a, a platformer with some action elements, but it, it's it's mostly meant to be a platforming game though. And you play as a little robot and you're going through different stages themed around parts of a PS5 because you're actually inside the PS5 for the game, right? So you play through like the CPU world, you play through a GPU world, but the worlds, I mean, they they're technically themed around console parts but they're not really like <laughs> they don't really have anything to do i thought i could go on that maybe but i guess not but so it's just cute and then as you're playing through it you unlock all different kinds of artifacts they call them and the artifacts are different playstation related things so like you unlock the playstation one two three four you unlock the like controllers for all the different consoles you unlock, uh, like, memory cards for the PlayStation 1 and 2. Just all kinds of cute stuff like that. And there's a vending machine where you can get more sort of unlockables through that. And, uh, yeah, it's and it's just, it controls really well. It makes a lot of use of different things like the, the PlayStation's new controller, the DualSense, they call it. It has, like, the motion controls. It also has the touchpad like the PS4 controller does and whatnot. But then it also has other things like uh, adaptive triggers, so the triggers can actually get harder to press as you're playing through a game or whatever. So they uh, they make use of that. Just just all kinds of neat stuff. And uh, anybody who has a PS5 or ends up getting one, I highly suggest you give it a try because it's free. It came with your PS5, and it's actually pretty fun. At least if you like collect-a-thon platformer type games. <laughs> if you don't, then I mean, probably wouldn't be for you. But I like those kind of games, so they work out great for me. 
Yes, race fans, a bounty of booty awaits you in this off. A bounty of booty. So is this a race course or a platforming course? Because like <laughs> this looks like a platforming level, doesn't it? And defeat the insidious delusion. Some of those secrets look like they were in places that you wouldn't be able to get with a car. And find greater challenge in the battle arena where unhinged lunatics. Okay, you got battle arenas. Isn't this exciting? Very nice. You know I'm excited. Get going, crash, and show me what you got. Okay, yeah, so the, it's a mix. Welcome to Mystery Island. So we are still on platforming. Okay. Not what I expected. Press Time triangle or, bread, yeah, baby. to talk to people selling new clothes. Unlock Tiki Turbo Racetrack. Well, I mean, okay, we should probably just collect coins real quick while we got the, the what's it called? Wumba Juice or whatever? Oh. I have no idea what's going on. We're about to get shot. <laughs> Oh. oh, Crash is dead. Crash is dead dead. That's kind of gruesome, man. <laughs> just, just put a whole uh, freaking cannonball through his chest. Like, my lord. All right, what is the point of buying clothes? Bring 500 coins to buy classic Crash outfit from Park Worker and Mystery Island. Well, I don't really care about getting the cr classic Crash outfit, to be honest with you. Oh, now we have a splashing animation. Oh, it's just another gruesome death scene, isn't it? <laughs> nice. Very nice. Diorama 32 jaw. Oh, wait, so do you actually collect... Like, you get extra collectibles for, for all the different death animations? That's kind of cute. That's neat, I suppose. Man. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of the way it controls in the platforming sections, I'll be honest. But again, I already knew coming into this, Crash has never really been my my game, so no surprise here. Okay, can we go up the ladder, maybe? Isn't this a ladder? Okay, I guess we just gotta take a little bit more. Go up, thank you. Aha! We got whatever that is. Fusion unit to Coco. Oh, that's the thing she was looking for. Okay, well, do we need to do that before we can go in the race, or can we just go into the race area here? Because, I mean, it's Crash Tag Team Racing, right? That should be kind of what we're doing here. Driving games, we have Race, Crashinator, Rolling Thunder, Running Gun, and Fast Lap. I mean, let's just do a race first, right? Okay, we haven't unlocked the other ones yet. It seems like you can play any of them... So you just have to get to one single entry point, and then you can just do any of the races? That's weird. I was expecting it to work like Mario Kart style. Or not Mario Kart, I'm sorry. Mario 64 style, where like you go to a painting, you jump in the painting, and then you're playing that level. I was expecting it to be more something along those lines, right? Like we walked into this level, so now we're playing this level, not just a glorified kind of menu system i guess right because you're just going into the portal and then that just lets you select any level that you want to play so that's a thing i suppose yeah i don't really know weird but hey whatever it works i guess and uh once you're like farther into the game if you just want to get into a race or whatever i guess that'd be nice because you can just go to the closest sort of hub or whatever race hub and then just load into any of the other ones so from a quality of life standpoint i guess it's not too bad long loading screen here wow hopefully the disc isn't like not being red or something am i gonna have to take it out and clean it might have to take it out and clean it Come on, baby, you can do it. I believe in you. Load the level. This is some GTA 5, or not GTA 5. Well, yeah, I mean, that works too, but <laughs> I meant like a GTA 3 San Andreas or, or Vice City loading times here, man. What the hell? 
Come on, game. Shoot. All right. Yep. It looks like I might have to take the disc out and clean it because, uh, man, it is not loading, is it? All right. Yeah. I guess we're uh, going to take a really short break while I take the disc out, clean it up, and uh, pop it back in. So give me just a moment, guys. Yeah, from what I've read uh, on the back of the box, this game kind of covers the events of the three uh, Lord of the Rings game or games movies. So it kind of makes sense that they would have to, you know, get you caught up on all of the events leading up to it. Still a bit long for the intro sequence, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so this is a turn-based RPG game that I did not know. Draw an enemy into combat, attack a single target. I mean, this is the first mission. Hopefully, you know, we don't just get destroyed right here at the beginning. <laughs> I guess we'll see, though. I feel like I need to move the screen up just a tiny bit there. Okay, we got destroyed. First thing. GG. Game's over. Well, that was fun, guys. Uh... <laughs> Okay, kind of a little bit recreating some scenes from the movies here. Yeah, you know, give or take. <laughs> not not exactly, but uh, with a spin on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking like I'm going to be saved. I mean, there was no... There was nothing else to do. Like, it's obvious it had to go this way. Bestow this gift of my people. It braces the soul and binds the hearts of others. I live because of your bravery, my lady. What favor might I grant you? There is no time. Hurry. We must find you equipment and heal your wounds. All right. Now pay Adventure mode, here you'll travel across Middle-earth, find hidden items, and better group of foes. Scenes, Gandalf the Great speaks to you of events in Middle-earth. Okay. On maneuvering your vehicle, use the left analog stick or directional okay. to steer. Okay. We're back. And it is working now. I <laughs> took a good look at the disc while it was loading, and uh, it is pretty rough. <laughs> So I'm a little worried, to be honest, about its uh, ability to load here. Press triangle to clash with other people. Ooh. Oh, so you can, like, fuse together. And then... Ah, oh, dude, okay, this is pretty cool. So it's got, like, a whole combat element to it. That's neat. Move left stick to aim and use X to shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, can we unclash with people, or press square to switch weapons? Ooh. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. So, is there any reason not to, to be using weapons like this, or should you always be using weapons? You can also switch place between the driver and the gunner with R1. I mean, she seems to be doing just fine, at least on easy mode here. Okay, so we're out of shots for that, it seems like, though. And then we only have, like, two shots left for this, so. Quickly press square while turning to start a power slide. Okay, so we can, we can, uh... Quickly press. Press circle to use power-up? Click power-ups to help you win the race, okay. Steer towards these collectibles, which are... Clashing with whoever this is now. I have no idea what's going on, I'll be honest with you. 
I also do not like the way the controls for this thing here are. Is that putting us in first now? It does. Can we stay in first, maybe? So, wait. If we... So, we're clashed with someone. Are we, like, a part of a team or something with them? Or, like, how does that work, right? Because if we're in a... If we're clashed with somebody and then we both get first place... But if we unclash with them, I don't know. I have no idea how this works. <laughs> I mean, in theory, we should find out soon enough, but we are way ahead of everybody else. Can we uh, press circle to use power-ups? Yes, we, we understand that. Okay, so that was just like a bomb power-up or whatever. What is... Can we throw that backwards? <laughs> So it's very Mario Kart-esque in that regard, I guess. It seems like we can we can throw things forward and backwards, collect power-ups by getting little boxes on the court. Okay. And then we can we can do a power slide. That doesn't feel as good as it does in Mario Kart, but it's a thing we can do nonetheless. So I guess like you would just clash with people to get first place, and then once you get first place, I don't really see any reason to stay clashed. At that point, right? Because I mean, once you're once you're in first place, you just want to unclash to keep first place. Or again, I could be wrong though. Maybe it doesn't matter. Like maybe if you're clash with someone and you you take first, maybe you still get first place. Maybe. Oh, we get paid for KOing people. Very nice. Okay. All right, so we'll continue. Yeah. So I mean, that wasn't bad. The, the racing mechanics are, are pretty decent, at least. The the turning doesn't feel as nice as it does in Mario Kart, but the, the combat mechanics and that whole clashing thing is pretty cool, though. Both of those are nice. Hopefully we can load back into the game in a reasonable amount of time here. <laughs> A little worried about it, to be honest. Okay, so that didn't take too, too long, loading back into the world. Hopefully the next race doesn't take as long to load as the, the first one did there. But at least we know it's working, right? Alright, so there's other game modes that we can try, but... Like, there's a whole other area over here that presumably we can get to. With some decent platforming, which... Could be hard for me, because I am not good at Crash Bandicoot platforming, man. Is this another death scene? Or, nope, okay. <laughs> I guess we just killed those dudes instead. Fine, I don't know why, but hey, whatever. Screw that guy in particular, I guess. Uh, balloons? What are the balloons for? Oh, I didn't mean to hit your friend, I'm sorry. Don't be angry with me. Wait. Oh, mini games. Okay, so there's mini games too. Very nice. Animal Farm Frenzy Skeet Shoot pays 500 for gold, and you get an extra 200 every time you get a record. Maybe proceed to game. Yeah, sure, whatever. Just try it out. Earn points by shooting the moving targets. Bonus points are awarded for accuracy. The game ends when 10 targets hit the ground. You can use buttons to aim. Okay, can we invert camera left, right, or invert aiming? We do want to invert aiming up, down, but leave the camera left, right alone, I guess. I think, I think this will do what I want it to do now. Okay, continue. Yeah, that's better. That feels better. Still feels weird aiming with a left stick because I'm just used to that being for oh for uh controlling a character but this is taking more concentration than I fair to care to admit okay we're, we're doing decent here for accuracy though I love how all the animals explode into oh well as soon as I say we're doing decent for accuracy obviously we we miss twice Three times. Oh, no. 
Uh... <laughs> anyway, I was trying to say, I love how all the animals just blow up into meat, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a little bit gruesome, but, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a cool little effect, though. It looks nice. They did a good job with it, man. Uh, I'd love to see somebody like this actually good at this game do this stuff. I bet it's crazy, them just freaking murdering everything with perfect precision. I also just remembered that we played that mini game, or not the mini game, that race on just easy or regular or whatever it was. We should go back and try with hard mode because it says, I think it said you get like a 50% bonus for, for playing on hard, right? There we go. Ah, we just missed. Oh. I didn't mean to skip that menu, but whatever. So, new record. My score was 4,299. So, just, just a little bit better than whatever the other previous record was. <laughs> so, I see we have a couple things. Did we get two more of the... The power cores or whatever it is that we're searching for? Is that what it showed that we had there? Are those power... So there's the mini-map here. Can we pull up the mini-map, maybe? No, it doesn't seem like it. We can open a first camera. First-person camera, though. Oh, or maybe... Oh, oh, okay. That took us right over to here. What did that say? I completely missed it. What, tell us again? Nope, it will not. Cool. I guess just press triangle. Buy crystal from Mystery Island Park Worker for 1,000 coins. How many coins do we have? We have enough. To buy a power crystal? Yeah, I mean, that's the, what we're supposed to be doing, right? Those cutscenes are ending very quickly. I feel like they're not meant to... Press... Oh, you have to body slam penguins to defeat them? <laughs> we can't We can't just murder penguins. We have to, like, kick them. We have to body slam them. Crush them to the ground. Unlock Pirates of the Carburetor? I was on that platform. Did I not fall directly through that platform? Is this the same? This is the same one. Or no, it's not. Jod. How was that different? I think we fell right through that platform. That's some bullshit. Game's cheating. All right, we can we can give it a little bit of a pass though, because again, it's not meant to be a platforming game. I don't think. <laughs> So I kind of want to see what these other game modes are. Like, what's Rolling Thunder? Score needed 22. Crash and Neo Neocortex are the only people we can play. We only have one vehicle at the time, so yeah, whatever. Let's try out Rolling Thunder. I can see the appeal of this game so far, though, right? It seems pretty fun. The racing mechanics are decent enough. If you're into Crash's uh, platforming, then you would probably like the, the sections in between the game. Or the, the races. It has mini games. has different forms of racing. Like Rolling Thunder, whatever the hell this is. Time trials. Regular racing, etc, etc. So that's nice. It's always nice to have variety. A lot better than that game we did on the podcast not too long ago. Crash is, uh, oh, it was like a party game. I can't remember the name of it at all. But myself and Jonathan, the co-host, we got together and played it a while back. And then we did a podcast episode on it. And it was not great, to say the least. It was just, like, a little too simple. So wait, Rolling Thunder. Are we just trying to kill as many people as possible? Is that our only goal here? Because if that's our only goal, then I mean, like, <laughs> we are killing it. Also, I just realized that the aiming isn't inverted here during the race, which is kind of annoying. Can I... Hold on, let's go into the menu. Preferences. Can we change invert aiming on? So is this different for like every 
Oh, no, wait, what? Yeah, no, down is still aiming down, up is still aiming up, so I don't, I don't know. Okay, yeah, so it seems like we're just playing for, for most kills. Can we switch guns? We cannot. We're, we're stuck with the one kind of gun. That's fun. Okay, if we're just trying to get as many kills as possible, then yeah, we're, we're doing pretty decent, man. <laughs> Already up to 25. Do you, do you get bonus points for accuracy or something? Is there some reason why I shouldn't just be shooting into the, the big group of people constantly here? I don't see any reason not to. Finished. Okay. That's pretty easy. <laughs> I guess that's that. Continue. We got the record. So that's another 500 coins. Cool, cool. And I, I guess that's Rolling Thunder. Kind of simplistic, but hey. Again, variety, you know? It's better for it to be there than to just not have any options at all. As long as it didn't take away from time making the game proper, then I'm always for extra options. The only time it sucks is whenever they spent so much time working on whatever option that the main game took a quality hit for that, you know? Like the actual game is missing stuff because they spend so much time adding mini games that most people aren't going to care about or shoehorning in a story that, that doesn't really matter or whatever. So I see we're up to five power crystals. Every time we do one of these courses, are we getting power crystals? Yeah, okay, so first place unlocks power crystals and pays money. So is that true for all of the different game modes? It is. Oh man, so you would have to... You would have to go into these levels a lot. To, to get everything. Wow, okay. And I do like, even though you're playing as Crash, the good guy, that you can control any of the other characters, it seems like, in the races. So far, I've only used Crash, obviously. But, like, I saw that it gave us the option of playing as Neocortex. And presumably, I would still get the Power Crystals and the money, not Neocortex, even though technically he's the one that, that won. So, sure, it doesn't make sense, quote-unquote, but, like, who cares, man? It's a video game. Ow. So, the races do seem to take a little longer to load into than the little mini game there. As long as it loads in though, it'll be okay. And I don't hold this game at fault for the long loading screens because I saw the bottom of that disc and it is pretty bad. <laughs> like just uh honestly, like <laughs> All right, so can we just merge into somebody like right now? I have no idea who this person we merged into is. This is somebody's henchman, right? Oh, what is with all the blur on the screen right now? Ah! Okay, so... Okay, we got one. Oh, okay. Whoa, we are so much faster. Wow, okay, and there's there was a monkey on my ass, and we blew up. I don't know what's going on. Hard mode is much more involved, it seems like, than... Uh, <laughs> than the regular mode that we were playing on before. Easy or regular, whichever it was. Oh man, okay. So it feels faster too. So I think it's kind of like Mario Kart where the the higher levels have more, not only more difficulty, but faster carts and stuff too. Oh man, we are like in last place, aren't we? Okay. Oh geez. Uh, okay, so we're in fourth now, so we got some placement. Is there any reason not to just kind of, like, because if I unclash with them now, would that put me up in front of them, right? Because we just gained a bunch of places, basically, by clashing with someone. So could we just clash with someone again to get an even higher placement? Like, cause that will, that'll just throw us right out in front of them. Yeah, look at that. Okay. I also noticed it sounded like the, the audio there was skipping a fair bit. 
again, I don't blame the game for that. I blame my disc. My disc is in very poor condition here. Okay, so that took us down to fourth place, but I don't think anybody actually passed us, right? So, I guess that's just because, like, it's counting the two people together as one sort of, like, placement. Hey, you, get off me. You need to die. Oh, okay, never mind. We're the ones that are going to die. Man, this skipping music is getting to me. <laughs> this is rough. <laughs> I need to, uh... I need to get this disc resurfaced, apparently. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, if we see a missile coming for us, could we just un... ungroup together real quick? Like, is that a thing we could do? To, to kind of, like, try to save ourselves or something? Nice, okay, just drift around the bend a little bit there. I think I have the clashing ability turned on. That's what this is, right? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yep, okay. Gotta, gotta keep him off our tail. Dude, this is so much faster than the easy mode. Holy crap. All the blur on screen. I'm not a big fan of motion blur, so... <laughs> My lord, okay. Hey, we did. Okay, so do we still get first place, even though we were clashed with somebody else? I am going to do an experiment while this is going on, too. Okay, so we got first place. Hey, yeah, okay, so it still counts as first place. It's just two different people took first place. But that's fine. We don't, we don't care about that, because we got first place. That's all that matters to us. Oh, no, I need to sneeze. All right, yeah, I'm back. Had to sneeze. <laughs> All right, good job. Thank you, Nate, thank you. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised we got it, to be honest, Nate, but we did it. So I think we should maybe take the difficulty down one notch because um, you only get, what, more points, right? And we don't really care about the points right now. So who cares if we get more points or not? We just want to win. <laughs> yeah. Loading. Trying to load, at least. Struggling to load is more like it here. Oh. Okay, if we get through this loading screen, I think we should probably save the game because <laughs> at this point I am worried about us getting stuck in a, uh, a loading screen here forever. There we go. Okay, awesome. So we did load into the game at least. That's good. Let's just do that. Get this out of my way now. Okay. So, can we save from the main menu? We can. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, right. Whatever. That was much more fun, though, on the the harder difficulty there. I will give it that. So, like, the, the easy mode was a bit too easy. Like, it wasn't fun because of how much, like, how easy it was. But the harder difficulty definitely did a good job of making the game more interesting to play. So that's a good, that's a good thing. I, I do not care for the crash style platforming, man. There's something about it. I just can never tell where I'm at or whatever. Gotta have the challenge. Yeah, for sure. For sure, Nate. And it actually really upsets me how, how much, how little... I like platforming and Crash, because I love platforming games, obviously. Like, they're one of my favorite genre of games, but in Crash, I just can never get into it. Like, I, I just feel like I can never tell where I'm jumping in them. It seems to be a little bit better in this one than it was the 
the remakes of them, the modern day remakes, but I'm still struggling with it a bit here, though. Of course, I'm also playing through OBS at the moment, not native, uh, like CRT or on my mod or anything like that. So there is a bit of latency. That's probably not helping anything. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so we can't kill them, but we can knock them down with a with a hit. Is that how that works with the penguins? Oh, no, you can kill them. It just takes a couple hits. Nah, well, dude, whatever. That's a lot easier to do than, than trying to belly slam them. Okay, so there's something over there it looks like we can get to. So we'll, we'll maybe try that in a second. But before we try that, Neocortex, are you going to sell us one? Bring a ninja outfit to Cortex. What? Wait, what's this going to do? Is this another death thing? Need eight power crystals to unlock something. That hint disappeared too quickly for me to see what it was. Okay, what's this do? That just opens the door very well. Secrets? I am a big fan of secrets. Is it trying to get us to jump down from here? Or is there something that I'm missing? Oh no, okay, this is a whole nother area. Wait, what? Was this open before? Did we just completely miss this? Oh no, the door closed. Shit, okay, so <laughs> I guess that was like a, a timed thing. Maybe we have to hit that button up top and then, then quickly go through that door there. Maybe that's how it works. Man, I was on that platform. I don't care if it was under the water a tiny bit. Like, it was hardly under the water. You could still stand on it without sinking. Like, your head wouldn't have even been underwater. <laughs> I'm calling BS on that. Okay, don't go in the lava, though. That's not going to be good for anybody. Okay. Okay, so the door's open now. So, does it just close when we're down here? But it opens anytime we go up top, maybe? Is that how it's working? I honestly don't know. A bit confused on that one, to be honest. I saw the power crystal over there, though, so I feel like we should go the other way. Plus, I don't think we can make that jump. Hopefully we can make this jump. We can. I should have just went for the power crystal first. Not risked it. Hey. Okay, so we got seven now. Can we go back up from here? Can we make that jump? Oh, just barely. Just barely, man. By the skin of our weird bandicoot feet. Why did we not double jump? Is there, like, once you're fallen a certain... Have fallen a certain amount, can you not double jump anymore? Need one more now. Yeah, to get into that thing. Whatever that thing was that we saw. I mean, we could play... Well, that first level took way too long to load, so I'm not going to go into that first race again. Because I'm worried about that one. But we could play one of the other game modes in here, maybe, and do it. But why don't we just uh, keep exploring... We should get one before too long. There's that whole lava section to the right over here. Let's go check that out real quick. Maybe there'll be a power crystal over here or... Yeah, okay, there's another dude that we can just buy one from. And we should have enough coins at this point. We have two and a half thousand. Buy crystal from Mystery Island Park Worker for one thousand. I feel like some of these animations and cutscenes aren't playing properly because of how badly the disc is damaged. <laughs> So, I'm a little upset about that, because I don't think it's meant to just quickly, like, uh, teleport between scenes there the way it is. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know for sure, but I feel like that's not the way the game is meant to look. Alright. Do you want to spend eight power crystals to unlock the Mystery Island Jump Pad? Yeah. What does this do? Hey! Okay, we got a thing! A big version of the thing, not a little version of the thing. Some Indiana Jones shit right there, man. Did you see that? Professional Tomb Raiders? <laughs> Wrong game franchise. I got some more Wumba Juice or whatever the hell that's called. Break all the boxes. Neocortex is just chilling here. We could kill him while we're here, too. Just... Get him out of the picture real quick. 
What did he want from us? A drone is selling the ninja outfit. That's right. He wanted us to collect the ninja outfit. I honestly forgot all about it already. Oh, okay. I thought we were dead. All right. Let's try this race here. Let's see if uh, let's see if this one loads. Okay. That was great. <laughs> Oh, this is the battle arena. Jungle rumble battle arena. Uh, let's try normal. Let's try that one. I like the challenge, but let's, uh, especially with it being our first battle arena, let's see uh, how this goes on normal difficulty. And it's still a 25% boost, you know. I'm curious if there's anything I can do. There's Wumba Juice flavored G Fuel. What is it? Like, is uh, I'm feeling like it's probably mango and something. I have no idea. I don't drink caffeine, so I don't really follow the G Fuel flavors, obviously. But if you know what flavor it is, like what it actually tastes like, Nate, I'd be interested to hear it. So I'm feeling like it's probably mango and something for some reason. That I don't know why. That's just what's coming to me. Like It's just screaming mango. Okay, so we got loaded into the level at least. Hopefully everything in the level works okay. <laughs> so we need to get 10 KOs. Speed is normal. There was something that popped up, but it instantly disappeared. And we're we're with Neo Cortex for some reason. Okay, so we're just so this is just like that last game mode that we played. The non-racing game mode. The only difference is is that we are trying to kill people and we get is this a different weapon? Is it like gun game? Every time we kill someone, we get a new weapon? Oh, we got, we got, we got murdered. Oh, okay. We got, we got something here. Oh no. The aiming up and down, not being inverted is messing with me so bad, man. So fast. Okay. So we're back to our normal weapon now. Kill them. Kill them all. We're in second place. Leader has three kills. Oh, did we just get killed by the leader again? Oh, we are not doing good here. Hold on. Back into the preferences. Inverted aiming on. Is it because maybe I hit triangle instead of... Yeah. I hit triangle instead of uh, X after I, I changed the inverted last time. That's what's what had us messed up. Kill them. Kill them all. Grab the, grab the, yeah. Can we, can we take over the driving in this game mode? It doesn't seem like it. it seems like we're shooting only. Oh, wait. Okay. R1. R1 seemed to bring us back to life. So where's our health meter? That's the bottom right thing there, I'm assuming. Okay. And so then we got, oh, we got, we got some... Nitro. Okay. Nitro, go fast. Uh, good shooting, mate. Ah, oh, man. It is so hard to get kills. They need to add, a, like, a little bit of a homing effect or something. Although, honestly, it looks like it might have a bit of a homing effect. I'm just bad with a joystick. I really need a, a, a mouse here. <laughs> Tied for first place. Come on, just kill him! Alright, so we got, we got the better weapon now. Nice. Come on. Nice. This better gun really seems like the way to go, man. That regular gun does like nothing compared to this. Can we get that? Yes, please grab it. No, what are you doing? Thank you. Oh, I didn't think he was going to grab it there for a second, man. I was going to be so angry. Get him. Go. Thank you. We got it. <laughs> okay. That's kind of fun. That's kind of fun. Uh, Nate says, or something like that. It's crash themed. You'd say mango and peach. Ooh, okay. Mango peach. That sounds pretty good. It's what it tastes like to you, at least.
Have you had, like, I was always curious about G Fuel back when I did drink energy drinks and a bunch of caffeine and stuff. Have you tried a few of them, or have you only ever tried the one but juice one? Obviously, I've seen, like, the different sponsorships on YouTube back in the day and whatnot that gaming channels would do with G Fuel all the time, and I was always curious about it, but I never got around to ordering any and actually trying it out. And since I don't drink caffeine, it seems unlikely that I'll be trying it out anytime soon now. <laughs> Alright, cool. So that was the battle arena. I don't think there's any reason for us to go back into it. Because that was the only game mode, really, for that, right? So now I guess we gotta go this way. Wait, what was... Oh, that's just a random coin. Oh, oh, another death sequence. Is he just gonna backflip into it? Or Okay, no, he's gonna fall into it. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand, like, what meeting were they having where they were like, you know what we need? You know what we need to put in this game to really make it worth it for people? Random ass death sequences all over the place <laughs> i'm all for it i'm glad they did it but i just i wonder like who why can we not go over this thing or oh maybe we have to hit the the switch there we are so that raises it up for a certain period of time or whatever that makes sense uh, another death sequence i'm assuming hype sauce and blue ice and are some of your favorites like rainbow sherbert one was okay but not as good as you were hoping I'm not a big sherbet person. Mr. Noodle, my girlfriend, loves sherbet, but I, uh... Yeah, it's not for me, man. I mean, I used to eat it in when I was a kid every now and then. And then, uh... Like, the whole... You know, for holidays, they would take, like, Sprite or whatever and put some scoops of sherbet down in it. Raspberry is the best. Yeah, like I said, I know you really like it, Mr. Noodle, but... <laughs> Sherbet's never been my, my favorite. G Fuel hits you easier than Bang or Rain. It's nice when you're just trying to chill, but still stay up. Yeah, I can see what you're saying. You know what I've always been really mad about, man? Like, whenever I did drink a crap ton of caffeine, I always had wished that there was just, like, caffeinated water. Because sometimes I didn't want all the sugar or flavor or whatever in energy drinks. But, of course, that wasn't a thing. Now, there were caffeine pills, but they could get a little bit uh, expensive and whatnot. And they had to get a hold of all the time. So I usually just did the energy drink thing or whatever. It was easier to get a hold of. Or coffee. Drink a lot of coffee and espresso and stuff too. But now they have caffeinated water. Yeah. Mr. Noodle knows. I've gone on this rant before. But it makes me so mad, man. Because it was like probably maybe six months to a year after I stopped drinking caffeine. I was walking around one of the local grocery stores. And I see a brand of just caffeinated water. I don't know if they still make it or not. But that's that's all it was. It was just regular water with caffeine in it. And it makes me so angry. Like, man, why couldn't that have been a thing when I was drinking crap tons of caffeine every day? I would have been, like, the number one buyer of that shit, you know? I would have lived off of that. <laughs> I think they were inspired by pineapple, lime, and orange for G, G Fuel. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I could see, like, a pineapple sort of thing. For the... You're talking about the Wamba Juice still, right? What was it? You were buffering? Uh, uh, caffeinated water, man. Whenever I was younger and drinking a crap ton of caffeine, I had always wished that there was an alternative to, like, energy drinks and crap that I could, that I could have had. Because sometimes I just didn't want all of the, the sugar or flavors or whatever from, from energy drinks. But I didn't feel like I really had a, any choice. And then, uh, like, six months to a year after I stopped drinking caffeine, I, I see at one of the grocery stores, some freaking caffeinated water. And it made me so angry because I would have drank the crap out of that growing up, but obviously I didn't I didn't have that opportunity. Can we can we go turbo? Yes, let's go turbo. No for the Rambo Sherbert one. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not a huge Rainbow or I'm not a huge Sherbert person in general I uh I'd try it because I, I don't like hate sherbet or whatever it's just it's not one of my favorites that's all 
uh, switch weapons because we are out of ammo apparently. How the hell did our camera just get like flipped backwards? Nice. Murder him. Take us up to third. Okay, we gotta get we gotta get a couple more spots here. Uh Okay, we're out of we're out of ammo here, so can I just separate from you? Yeah. See, and it always seems to put us in front of whoever we were clashed with. So I don't see any reason not to clash with people. Because if they get too close to you, like, say you're in first place and somebody gets super close to you, you just clash with them and now you're in still in first place because you're, you're meld with whoever. And then, of course, if you're trying to take over a place like that right there. Yeah, see, right there. Neocortex, by all means, should have taken over first place there. But he didn't because we just clashed with each other. Like... So I see no reason not to have the clashing always turned on. Seems a little OP. Oh, what is... Oops. Oh, bro, we just dropped a damn cow on the raceway. What was that? <laughs> That's insane. All right, uh, switch to the other weapon here because we are... Cool. I wonder, there's probably some sort of strategy too for for unclashing right before something hits you. That's probably a thing too, but I, uh, I'm not that good though. Hey, did we get them both? I think we got them both. Yeah, we are doing pretty decent at this point. Okay, let's, uh, let's get a boost from him here and then throw that back there. And then, oh, and turn this on because again, doesn't seem to be any reason not to have it always turned on. Going out of the blowhole here again. <laughs> and that's the finish line, right? Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Maybe we should do hard mode. I don't know. Blue Ice One reminds you of those giant blue popsicles you would find at little shops. That's nice. I uh, The giant blue ones aren't my personal favorite. My personal favorite has always been... Uh, what are they called? Um, well, I mean, like I did really like the slush puppies and whatnot. The, the blue raspberry one of those. But as far as popsicles go, they have like these sour ones. I don't remember if it's like Sour Patch Kids or Nerds or what brand it was. But uh, I, of course, just really like sour stuff. So I was big into that. Okay, we are going to try something just as a little experiment. I want to see if it'll work after it loads into here. And then we've been going for about an hour. Probably going to wrap up Crash tag team racing here relatively soon because like I said I want to get a little bit extra time in with Lord of the Rings today plus I feel like we pretty much saw everything that there is to the game right I mean like uh, is there boss battles maybe there's boss battles or something that we're missing in the game but other than that I feel like we we got the idea it's it's got platforming elements in between levels and then racing and yeah but yeah I want to see because this disc is loading so poorly I'm, I'm trying something out to see if I can get it to load a little bit nicer before we uh, switch on to the next game here. Assuming that we load back into the level. We did, finally. Okay, so save game. It seems like the one that had the worst loading time was the first level. So we're actually going to go back to the first level, I think. Assuming my experiment doesn't just break everything right here, right now. So let's see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just gonna continue the game here and try not to fall off this platform that we are dangerously close to. And then let's quickly make our way back over to the first level. Although I guess we could have just went into that race area right there, right? So that's something that we discovered. It doesn't really matter what area you're in. You can just uh, load into any of the races that you want. So we could have done it from there, I guess, but whatever. We're already here. So we're just going to do it from over here. Okay, let's go back into the race. Ah, nope. Okay, okay. So it does, it is able to tell. 
when well hold on uh no yeah yep okay i was wondering if it would uh be able to read from another disc that i had but nope Alrighty. well yeah with that i think we are gonna go ahead and call it on crash tag team racing I'm going to take uh, a short I mean, break. I guess we'll view the scenes. I, I mean, Just I a short one, and then we will be back with uh, Lord of the Rings. Game, but, you know, fine.